Michael Gunner here with... Uh, my name is Brendan Garcia. I'm part of a f uh, Fandom Trash. We actually have a booth here. It is uh, consists of me, my friend Jacob, my sister uh, Megan, another Megan, and Dory. So we're all part of Fandom Trash. We're all local here in New Mexico. So They're the ones that are always sweeping all the awards. So, <laughs> so we're going to do some anime questions. It's not trivia because it's not, you know, yeah. it's more like opinion-based stuff. And, and there's some, some terms, okay? So what is your favorite anime and why? My favorite anime of all time is actually Gurren Lagann. Just because um, when I first watched it, I didn't really appreciate it because I thought it was just kind of like your basic shonen like power-up series. But like really like the more I heard about it, I really started to appreciate like the actual themes behind it of just like the never giving up and like, you know, like we're gonna make the uh, impossible possible, like row, row, fight the power kind of thing. And like, um, I think there's a lot of characters in the show that are like super powerful that like everyone can attach themselves to because each has such like a fundamental like idea of like who they want to be and like why they want to be that. That like it, it just really like makes you feel like empowered after it because like you watch like the last scene of that anime and I feel like you can't be hyped. Like every time you hear that like row, row, fight the power, you just gotta scream with the fight the power, dude. That's been the, so it's an all time favorite anime ever. Okay, cool, yeah, and that Yoko, huh? Yeah, exactly. Oh man. I'm more of a Nia guy myself because like, you know, I just I just think Nia's like the probably like the perfect waifu, dude. She just loves Simone so much for like what he is and cause like there's a part in it where they're like everyone's upset because Simone isn't Kamina, but it's like Nia appreciates him for that, you know, and it's like everyone wants to be appreciated for like who they are. So like I think Nia's just best girl, but like like Yoko does have some big personalities that like everyone everyone likes, you know, like so yeah. Okay. Uh, what are a few reasons you like anime? Um, I really like anime because, um, you know, like the basic go-to question is whenever someone's asked that is like, you can do so much more with animation than you can do with live action. Like, you can't send someone in a huge mech like flying through outer space and like live action. If you can, like, I'm down. Like, I'll sign up for that. But there's so many things that anime, like, as a medium, can like do that like American like, cartoons or movies can't do because like. I feel like people just generally assume anime is for kids just because it's like just drawings or whatnot. But there's so much like strong ideas, morals, and like principles you can get across in like such like a more meaningful way because like it is on paper and it is being animated that like you just don't get in any other medium. So I think like anime really just is like as weeby as it sounds like such like a magical thing to experience that like hey, there's like an anime out there for everyone. If you like like so like if you like shows about like cute girls dressing up and singing like you know there's Love Live, there's Idol Master, there's so much more. If you like want some like crazy like just psycho thrillers there's like psycho pass there's like there's just so much like from cowboy bebop to dragon ball to like sailor moon like there's just so much for everyone to experience that i think like it just has so much to offer okay cool one of my questions was name six anime but i think you just did yeah. that so <laughs> i know it's ridiculous what is your favorite anime intro or outro oh man dude there's like so many good ones i think um like, just being a huge Gurren Lagann fan, I love that. Um, I really like, there's just, oh my god, there's so many good ones. Like, Cowboy Bebop's Tank is so good. Like, there's Cruel Angel's Thesis from Eva. There's like, fuck, if I had to say, like, my all-time favorite, I think I'd have to go with the, like, um, the arc in Naruto where, like, Jiraiya, like, is, like, gonna go fight pain and dies. Because I have that song on my phone. It's, like, signed by Flo. Love that. Like, favorite arc, like, arc of Naruto. And I just, like, anytime that song comes on, I just, I just weeb the fuck out so all-time favorite is signed by flow for naruto name three anime couples Th three anime couples in general yeah. um let's see uh we also like, we got the classic like vegeta and bulma i thought i'd throw that at you um fuck there is i don't know if you consider them a couple but you can always go like shinji and like asuka ray like or whoever you want to do um I, like, I'm also a huge fan of, like, Simone, Nia, like, they actually get married. Uh, yeah, I, I was just gonna go with those three, because I can't really think of them. Yeah, no, that works, that works. What is your favorite couple and why? My favorite couple? Um, I really like Vegeta and Bulma, personally. Like, I think it's so cute that, like, Vegeta's, like, supposed to be just, like, the embodiment of pride, but, like, especially in Dragon Ball Super, you see him, like, freak out, like, anytime Bulma's touched or, like, with their new daughter getting born, like, Anytime like Yamcha or Mr. Satan just like goes near their like kid, he just like fires up in Super Saiyan Blue like immediately. And like, or just like his like Majin Vegeta and like kid trunks. Like I just feel like Vegeta just has so much to offer that he's like not appreciated for. And like Bulma knows that, but like she's a little cheeky about it. Like she'll piss him off, you know? He's the Prince of Saiyans, but like, you know, like she's, she's the boss, you know? So I think that's my favorite couple. Yeah, for sure. And it's just really cool how like, 
at first he thought for the longest time he thought relationships made you weak and yeah. now he's realizing that it's the opposite yeah he has something to fight for now it's like right. it's really cool like vegeta's done like a hell of a character development so name four protagonists <laughs> yeah um i like you know obviously um I'm gonna go with like Kamina from Gurren Lagann. I like uh, Shinichi from Parasite. My like I have a huge like huge like heartthrob for Guts from Berserk. I like um, let's see. I obviously oh Mob and from Mob Psycho. That's a, that's what I might go from four off the top. Okay, cool. Which is your favorite? Out of everyone? Oh yeah. God. Um, I really like Guts from Berserk because like. Guts is just like such like a hell of a character. Like you first meet him and you're just like, man, this guy's a dick. Like, why am I reading this? But like you power through and it's like, man, this guy is just like a badly beaten dog that like you just, everything just goes so wrong for him. And you're just like, at some point, like just like when you get that one panel of him smiling, you're like, he like, he's still alive. He's still kicking. Like he's the struggler. And like, he's just like the kind of guy that like everyone would want to be that like, he has so much terrible things happen to him, but like he's still kicking. So like, I'd say Guts, yeah. Cool, awesome. Name two antagonists. Antagonists. Um, I really like um, I like Lord Boros from uh, One Punch Man a lot because like it's crazy to see that fight where he's like, oh, you've like the classic moment of like you un like unsealed my unspeakable power that like I had just completely concealed by this armor and just like Saitama just like like flicks him away and he's just the like okay face you know so like lord boros it's crazy to see this like intergalactic like space pirate go all out and he's being like you're not even trying and he's like saitama's like i tried but like you really know like he's just a god at this point you know um let's see it's, it's so hard being like on the spot i'm just like i can't think of anything um like I, i'm a huge dragon ball fan so like i, I really like cell or in like the android sagas um so i think i'm gonna have to go with like android 17 and 18 because i think like future gohan is like one of the most heroic characters like ever so yeah android 17 and 18. which is your favorite which is my favorite um shit. as much as i like android 17 and 18 dragon ball has that like just uncanny the ability to make like it's bad guys good guys you know so i'm gonna have to go with lord boros just because like he just he just gets like knocked the fuck out and but like he had such like a good time like fighting saitama that he at least died doing what he loved because he was looking for that like battle that would just make his life like worthwhile like same with like saitama where they just want that like rush of battle like not knowing what's gonna happen so i have to go with lord boros dude right, cool name three anime genres um, so you have your shonen, you have magical girls, you have um, your adventure sci-fi, you have a lot of mystery, so yeah. Okay, cool, cool. Which is your favorite? Um, honestly, I am a huge shonen fanboy, dude. Like, I grew up watching Naruto, Dragon Ball, like, all that stuff, and like, Gurren Lagann, like, as much as I love it, it doesn't definitely has that, like, basic, like, shonen tropes of just, like, manliness and not giving up and, like, powering up. And, like, I love that so much because, like, who doesn't want to be, like, a shonen character where you're just, like, everyone's depending on you. You come in at the last second, you save everyone, save the world, and everyone loves you. So I really do think, like, shonen is by far my favorite genre. Hey, right on. Can you name two voice actors? Two voice actors? I, ah, uh, man, I, I, I can... I don't think I can honestly. I'm not. I'm, I'm not like a big person for voice actors, like, so I don't think I can. Unfortunately. We're gonna move on to some anime terms, okay? What is an otaku? An otaku. Um, I know that word derives from like Japan as just being like a huge like just fan of anime, to my understanding, where it just like it kind of consumes your life. I know they see it as more of like a bad thing, as like you don't want to be an otaku because it's like just basically being like a nerd there. But I kind of see it as just someone who's like. Not so much like a weeaboo is like people would say just like obsessed with Japanese culture, but more of like an appreciator from a level that like, you know, like what goes into it. You more so like know like direction or like directors and like animation studios. So I would say it is anyone who's like really into anime more so as like a hobby than just being like, oh, I watch Attack on Titan for the fights kind of thing. So I'd say just probably like an appreciator of like anime and anime related stuff. And you mentioned weeaboo. What is that? Um... Well, weeaboo is like a term that gets like thrown around a lot is like just generally like a like, oh, that guy's like a filthy weeaboo, you know, like someone who just like has like just like wears like the Akatsuki cloaks to school and like Naruto runs or someone who just generally like has like that like unfortunate like negative stigma around anime. It's like, oh, like they're the basement dwelling, like fat, like 4chan kind of looking guys. So I don't know. I'd say that's probably what like a weeaboo is to most people. Okay. Which one do you consider yourself either? Um, I... Uh, I honestly like would want to refer to myself as an otaku, but like I know sometimes I get real riled up about like certain anime things and I'm like this person like I'm like I'm just a filthy fucking weeb. So like I have to go with like a middle ground of like a filthy fucking weeb, you know? Okay. All right, 
right, right on. What is hentai? Hentai. Um, I know that comes from like the Japanese word for like pervert. I don't know how it like necessarily like got attached to like you know like your Rule Thirty Four like kind of like tentacle porn, but like in an animated sense. So I'd say it's just probably like animated porn, more of like that Japanese Japanese style. So like yeah, just Japanese animated porn, I guess. Okay. Are you into hentai? Um, I'm not a huge fan, but like I can I can I can appreciate the art form, I guess. You know, as Stanley said in uh, the Office, it is an art form, so. Yeah. Oh, cool. What is uh, Yaoi and Yuri? Um, Yaoi, to my understanding, is just kind of like your um, male on male, kind of more so like gay um, hentai kind of thing. I don't, I don't think it has to be specifically like hentai. It can just be more of like a fan fiction of like just like guy on guy kind of thing. And for the reverse, it would just be Yuri is like girl on girl. But I know like they set out to like achieve different things, whereas like guy can be more of like a dom sub thing. Whereas I think girls is more of like like a soft thing, like just like girls being cute kind of thing but like it's not really my thing for either of those so i don't know too much okay cool well you covered the last question if you had to choose hentai or real porn i'm a real porn kind of guy <laughs> yeah i guess like hentai is cool like every once in a while but like i just think like porn is just tried and true you know like it's just like ron jeremy's been like a thing like a household name so like I think if like hentai was the thing that would beat porn, then like everyone would be watching hentai instead of porn, you know? So, yeah. And subbed or dubbed? Subbed? Oh my god, it is all about subtitles, dude. Like I really hate English dubs just because I will, like there's a couple, like I don't mind the Dragon Ball dub, I don't necessarily mind a lot of the Studio Ghibli dubs, but um, a lot of like dubs, like one that really gets me going is like the Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood voice actor for Edward. It just, I really don't like it because I don't feel like it fits the character. I feel like Edward's supposed to be like this strong, like, like too mature for how old he is kind of character. And I feel like they give him this like whiny, like, ah, like what am I doing kind of voice that really takes away from his character. So like, I think like if you're like a true anime guy, you just always subtitles, always subtitles. So, okay. Yeah. I, uh, I feel like you, if you've seen it in subbed you can't it's too hard to do the dubbed afterwards because i tried that with attack on titan and oh my god i hate it i'm like why do they all sound like little kids this is awful so but uh all right thank you very much man appreciate it